Hello and welcome to another Gibbs Cam tech tip that I hope you find useful and maybe you decide to implement it yourself. A question that I get asked quite often is how can I align a solid model without having to extract any geometry? Especially if the model was extracted from an assembly and was just left in the assembly space. So there's no specific orientation or a simple 90 degree rotation to get this part aligned and we have no idea where this part is located in space. Okay, so let's open up a sample part file that's going to bring in a solid model out in space. Sometimes we get the file in a random position, which in reality is not a random position because the part was extracted from an assembly and just left in the assembly space as an example. So the first easy step we will do is click the flat surface. We'll use our right mouse click menu and select a line face to CS to get the solid closer. This will make that flat surface running parallel to the table. But if we do a home view, we have no idea what this rotation is. Most people will extract geometry for the circles and then they'll create a midpoint between the circles and then find out the angle so we can do a 2D rotate on the part. Well, this little trick is going to show you how to utilize corner systems to do this for you and not have to extract any geometry. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a temporary new CS and I'm going to move the part around a little bit. I'll turn on edge selection because this is the edge that I want to run parallel to. I don't know the angle rotation, but I'm going to align this temporary CS to my H axis, which is our horizontal axis. And you can click it a couple of times to align your vertical axis correctly as well. This will flip it 180 degrees every time. Now I'll do a home view. And this is exactly how I want to machine this part. Okay. We'll take a look at the properties of this part. And we will see that it's associated to CS number one. Let's go ahead and select our solid model. We're going to right mouse click on our CS window. And what we want to do is we want to change the association to the active CS, but leave it in the same X, Y, Z location it is right now. Now we can see that our model is associated to CS number two. Let's go back to CS number one. And here's the trick. We're going to reassociate the model to our active CS, but we want to leave it in the same horizontal, vertical, and depth axis that we had for CS number two. There you go. Now we'll shrink wrap, home view, and we just align our part without having to extract any geometry. From here, all you have to do is now move your part origin and set it to wherever you would set it up in any of your other part files. Okay, so let's open up a different part file. And we're going to use this part file to show you the same coordinate system trick to align a file that does not have a flat face or it doesn't have a parallel edge to use. So let's move this part around. I'm gonna select this flat face here. We'll use our right mouse click menu and we're gonna align face to CS. We will shrink wrap isometric view, select our surface. Now in GibbsCam 14, we can use our right mouse click menu Align face to CS, and this will flip our part 180 degrees in its depth axis. In our home view, I have no idea what angle these holes are sitting in, but I do want my part to have the holes running parallel to the X axis. So we're going to do our little trick. I'm going to create a temporary corner system. Let's turn on edge selection, and I'm going to select the edge of the hole. When you are using the edge of a hole, you don't want to align your horizontal axis. You want to align your vertical axis, your V. This will align your vertical axis perpendicular to the circle. And there you go. Once again, we'll take a look at the properties of the solid model, select it, we'll associate it to CS number two, leaving it in the same XYZ location. We'll go back to CS number one, reassociate it to CS number one, 
but move it in the same horizontal vertical depth axis as CS number two. We'll take a look at our home view, and there you go. Okay, shrink wrap, and now from here, you're ready to set your part origin to the X, Y, Z location of where you're gonna machine it out in your machine. Well, I hope this tech tip comes in a little bit handy, or at least gives you another tool to utilize in your Gibbs Cam software. Feel free to reach out to your local Gibbs Cam software reseller if you have any questions.